guys, welcome back. I'm only a few streets away from my house. I'm not sure if you can hear me because it's actually pretty loud. Um, but I'm at the Tainan City International Dragon Boat Festival, uh, which is going on for the next few days. And yeah, like I just said, I only live a few streets down. They sort of closed this whole street down uh, for this. So they've got in the Amping Canal, they've got dragon boat races going on. And then all along this street here there are sideshows, food, street food, all sorts of stuff, uh, formers and little like mementos to commemorate the festival. So the traditional things here that uh, happen at this time are the dragon boat races, uh, the Zongzi, which I think I said that right, Zongzi. Also known in Mandarin as Zongzi. Which is a sticky rice dumpling. It's like a rice ball wrapped in leaf and it has bits and pieces of, uh, I think it's pork in it and uh, peanuts. And it kind of gets steamed and I spat my arm. And uh, yeah, so this whole area is just thronging with people. And uh, so I've already been up and down, and I've watched a few races, and it's uh, it's mega. So um, and it, it seems pretty legit, serious. Like the guys are pretty pumped up that are doing the races. Uh, they really. You know, seeing teams jogging around and like warming up for the race and you know, conditioning, I guess. There's a whole area sectioned off for the races. Uh, and I don't think it's, uh, normally I think without the current situation going on in, around the world, I think there would be other countries involved. Um, but yeah, it's every year apparently and they just do it along this road. And the sun's just started to go down. So it's starting to cool off. It was a bit piercing before, but now things are getting calm. People are starting to come out, and uh, it's good vibe around us. People play music, clown over there, open balloons. So I'm just going to go up to the bridge and see if I can get some uh, bits of the race, and then uh, check some more things out and see what I can find. Especially with the heat at the moment, uh, just getting more fruity sort of type teas is very refreshing with, with uh, the, just the climate at the moment. Um, but I'm just going to go try and find somewhere to sit down and then I'm going to have something to eat and then I might wrap it up or I might go watch some more races and then uh, and see how I feel but it's, it's getting quite taxing just moving through the crowds at the moment. I've had to come down the back alley I guess per se of uh, the main thoroughfare because it's just you cannot move through there at all um, but yeah i'm just gonna try and find somewhere to sit down and, and have a bite to eat so i found myself a spot to sit get some oxygen <gasps> i need some oxygen uh, i got my 
tea and I got my Taiwanese sausage I forgot to mention before, it's actually, they celebrate this, so they call it the Dragon Boat Festival, but it's also known as the Double Fifth Day uh, Festival, because it's the fifth day of the fifth month of the lunar calendar. Um, and I can't believe it's right here, just, just down the road from where I live, so, and if, it's not like a minor thing, there's people just pouring in constantly. And uh, yeah, like I said, you, you couldn't move in there. I'm sweating like anything. It's so humid in between all the stalls. But um, yeah, really good, uh, really interesting. I love the, that the canal is all lit up, and um, you know, and the boats are all lit up. I've never been to a dragon boat festival before. The drones that are following the boats all the way down the canal, and so, you know, you've got the big television. Uh, cameras filming it it's on a big screen on one side of the canal so you can actually watch it if you're not directly where the boats are you can actually see it on the big screen it's crazy like that's um yeah it's not it's a it's a football match <laughs> basically but um oh I need that one of my new things is these uh lime lime teas just so refreshing uh, and uh, this is something I try and stay away from how many sausages are so so delicious sweet it's not like your own um, in Australia you get the sausages they're obviously more on the salty side Especially in Thailand, they're very sweet. Um, but you can find them in Australia in Asian supermarkets. You can get Taiwanese sausages, no worries. As good as the food is in Taiwan, it's very easy, especially as a Westerner, to to stack it on very quickly. So you've got to be very mindful um, of how much you consume because there's so much of it and there's so much good stuff. But I reckon. That's going to be it for me today. I'm just going to go and put the camera away and just enjoy it for a little bit. Um, but yeah, another another thing that I've seen now, and uh, it's it's you know, just more Taiwan, more great stuff. I'm so happy to be here. I'm really having such a great time. If anyone's wondering back home, um, it's it's definitely no regrets about coming to Taiwan. Um, I'm having the time of my life. This is an experience I'll never forget. And. Um, who knows how long I'll be here for. Um, I hope, basically, in my mind, I hope to be here permanently one day, so, um, because I don't want to leave. It's just fantastic. Um, it's everything that I had dreamed that it would be and everything that I wished that it would be. Um, there's still things that I need to do and accomplish, but, um, yeah, I don't see myself leaving Taiwan. I, I really love it here and um, just, it's almost the perfect country for me. So, um, but that's just my little note on it. Um, there's so much more to see of the country, obviously. I've only, I've only really explored Tainan and a few little bits and pieces. I know there's so much more out there. Hualien, I, I really want to get to Hualien. I've heard it's so, be so beautiful there and um, it's like my number one place that I want to visit. So uh, I'm going to try and get there very soon. But uh, just for now, uh, I'm going to enjoy my food and then I'm going to go home and uh, yeah, after I've had a look around a bit more um, and just take in, take in the sounds and the sights of this festival uh, and do that. But yeah, uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video.